talk to us about your plans for the future. What's what's in the pipeline? What's what are you looking ahead towards? I think we've got to be visionary about creating history. Our five year plan has been revised yet again. So one thing that I'm very keen about is obviously in the planet at the moment. You know, there's lots of bad news stories about and I certainly do not want to throw my grandchildren into the burning fire. So there's never going to be a bus more than five years old in the town. Euro 6 buses, so you know, very low emissions coming out, in fact nearly zero. But the next stage is, is we need to go electric. So we've not sat on our laurels, we've been working with government, we've waited for them to decide what they're going to do. There's now the ability to apply for funding. We've been through the first round of that bidding. There was 35 companies, uh, bus companies applied for it. 17 was successful and we were one of those 17 and we're now going to apply again to hopefully get funding to convert our bus fleet to electric and to convert Blackpool Rigby Road bus depot into an electric bus depot but also a servicing centre for other electric vehicles as well. We also want to continue with the development of the site so that we actually create a heritage museum for all our beautiful heritage trams. So there's one site that's got the future and there's one site that's obviously got a nod to the historic part of the town as well. We also want to make sure we're fully integrated, so our tramway, as you can probably see at the moment, there's an extension being built up to Blackpool North Station. That should be completed by this time next year. And visionary on from that, I would like to see some sort of tram loop that goes from Polton through to Fleetwood to join back into Blackpool and then hopefully connect into the Fylde coast through to Preston and Kirkham that way. So yeah, we, we've never stopped thinking. I like that snippet you said, um, that soundbite, um, visionary about creating history. Yes. I like that. Because it's always going to be history, isn't it? Because mm. Blackpool is seeped in history and, you know, Blackpool transport always has been. But let's do it in a way where we know that people are going to go, wow, well, you know, they thought about that then. And, you know, it seems so it's, you know, quite a revolutionary thing to have done in our time, really. Mm. Yeah. How long would it take you to, to change a whole bus, the whole bus fleet into electric then? I would estimate probably another five years to do the whole lot. I mean, if government gave us £220 million now, we'd do the lot. But if you think about the technology, it's advancing all the time. So why would you do the whole lot? you'd do a batch at a time, wouldn't you? So that each time you're investing in different features and better technology. So I'd look to do it piecemeal over five years. The, the tramway obviously is electric, the heritage trams are electric, having electric buses would mean that, you know, we've contributed our bit from a transport point of view to what needs to be achieved for the planet. And that makes me feel good about being a leader in the town. Mm. And I think that's an important part of it, isn't it? A leader's not just about people, is it? But it's about all these other aspects of the business as well. Yeah, yeah. You've got to be determined about this. You know, we've been talking about it, you know, for years. And with the help of Blackpool Borough Council, who have been absolutely amazing about investing in this company, is, is get to the point where, as at 2020, we were as clean as we could be. And now we know we can go with that extra percent to get cleaner. And the council are committed to it. You know, government wants to invest. And if we can, you know, bring that home goal and, and get that investment and do it in Blackpool, and we can say that, you know, we've got a fantastic transport system that is so clean that, you know, we've got no problems about harming the environment, I feel very, very proud.